just like we did this morning. So let's maybe let's maybe take your shoes back off again for this one. We're gonna do a lot of the same stuff that we already did this morning, but uh, especially when we're talking about rooting through the floor with the deadlift and with the hip hinge, uh, I want to make sure we address some toe drills here. So let's just make sure that we're balanced here on the feet. What we are going to start with are toe waves. So you're gonna pick your little toesies up and you're gonna put them down from pinky to big toe side. Nice and slow, does that make sense? Yeah. And we'll just repeat that there at your own pace. Picking your toes up and waving them down, pinky to big toe side. If you've never done this before, it can help to mirror with your hands. So you can like put your fingers down like this and go pinky, ring, middle, index, thumb. We're gonna do that just one more time. Now this time when you wave down, grip the ground. And I want you to really think about being even on your feet. Not too much on your toes, not too much on your heels. And just like how Jeff was talking about, once you get that sense of rootedness, squeeze the quad, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the abs, maybe hands up into a guard position as if somebody's trying to push you over into a, uh, you know, like in your, your plank here. All right, and relax. Last kind of funny toe drill that we're gonna do here is we're gonna pick all those toes up and we're gonna put your big toes down but keep all the other ones up. Really drive that big toe into the ground. And you can kind of lean forward a little bit here. <laughs> and then we're gonna do, is everybody okay? Then we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna pick all the other toes up but raise your big toes. So you're giving me like a thumbs up with your feet there. We're gonna do that one more time. Big toes down. Really drive your big toe into the ground. All the other little toes is up. And one more time. All the toes down and the big toe up. Giving me a thumbs up there. That's some pretty strong toes there, y'all. <laughs> so then we're just gonna stick one foot out. We're gonna make a fist and open. Fist. So really what we're doing here is we're waking up all these little intricate muscles and feet. Again, if you guys are going to be lifting 500 pounds here, you want to make sure that your feet are on, awake and active, gripping the ground, providing a good arch, you're going to support your ankles, you're going to support your knees, you're going to support your hips, you're going to support your back, you're going to support your neck, you're going to support your head. We'll do that same thing here on the other side. Big stretch in and extend that. So again, just think about, you know, if we had like a, you know, towels or something around, we want to keep towels up to your feet. So that's a fun exercise. But in the meantime, just make these fists and extensions here with the toes we mentioned. Cool. Everybody's feet nice and warmed up now? Cool. We'll do a little toe. And then we'll do those lateral tilts, just like how we did this morning. Probably feels a little bit better without your shoes on. Okay. So again, under control, collapsing, and then coming out onto the blade edge of the foot. And then we'll do those bodyweight squats. Big raise there at the top. Again, anytime you stand up, you can think about blocking quads, glutes, abs. Cross body march, hands opposite knee. 
I want you to think about doing is giving a little active push into that knee, just for a second. Not just tapping, but actually creating some vice pressure. generating this tension. Right? So push with the hands. Now pull with the knee. Push a little bit harder with the hand. Pull a little bit harder with the knee. One more time. Push a little bit harder with the hand. Pull a little bit harder with the knee. For three, two, and So we'll come down into a 90-90 position, or a shin box position. You guys are familiar? Here, so you can anchor yourself any way you want to. We'll just start with a nice little fold over that front knee, kind of like a little kind of half pigeon type stretch here. And if you so choose, you can really turn over that front knee for a little extra twist. Good in that front hip there. Take a couple more deep breaths. And then from here, we're going to work a little sweep kick with the back leg. So we'll sit up tall. We're going to float your back heel. Everybody good so far? Then we're going to float the back knee. And again, you can lean over as much as you need to. And then we're going to sweep, kick that foot around, take a seat square, raise that foot. And we're going to do a couple of circles around, because we probably all need to do that. Both directions. Sit up tall. My dad's here. Three, two, now. Lean back over, keep good height, sweep kick, sweep kick, back, 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 bend the knee, put the knee down, then put the ankle down. Now, this is a little bit tricky, we're going to lean back a little bit over that back hip. So we're getting that little hip rotation there. Does that make sense? Yes. Nice deep breathing. Again, you can adjust your hands however you need to. So then for a little bonus, we're going to work that front hip. So we're going to take that foot, well, foot and the knee, and we're going to whoop, pick it up. We'll hold for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice, y'all. And we'll switch sides, and we'll do that same thing here. So we'll start by stretching over that front knee side. Anybody get any hip cramp on that trip? Now we'll put the knee. 
Keep that good height. Sweet kick. Watch your neighbor. As we go around, sit up tall here in front. Big float. Circle around a few times. Each direction. Both directions there. Three, two, and then we'll sweet kick all the way back. If you dare, bend the knee, put the knee down first, keep the heel high, and then put your heel down. And then we will stretch backwards. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, you can raise the whole, the whole thing. <laughs> um, yeah, that's very good. Yeah. For four, three, two, one. That's guys. Then we're going to wrap up here with a little QL walk, a little butt walk. Probably good for us to do before we do deadlift. So, and, uh, very simply, if you've never done this exercise before, we'll just kick your legs out here straight, and we're going to walk. Muscles kind of here on the side of your uh, your low back, and we're just gonna shift hip to hip, and we're gonna walk your cheeks forwards and backwards. So your hands can be behind your head, hands can be overhead, or right here. But you know, in the interest of making it harder, I like to put my hands overhead. So scooch yourself forward, cheek to cheek. Really, don't be afraid to really side bend into your abs there. <laughs> and then we will go backwards. Really reach, really reach with those sit bones. Keep your toes pointing to the ceiling. We'll go forward one more time. <laughs> and we will go backwards one more time. And then just so that we're not super tight in our hip flexors before we turn you over to bend, we do a quick hip flexor stretch. And we'll come up into a half kneeling position here. Hopefully, this floor is. What's, what's that, bro? This mistake came from the bed. So sit up nice and tall here. So think about knee, hip, shoulder being in good alignment. Squeeze this downside glute, kind of tip the pelvis like so to really put a stretch on that front hip flexor there. on the outside of that knee. Free hand reaches back and will anchor yourself into a big twist there. Does that make sense? Couple of deep breaths. Keep that downside tight for three, two, and one. Nice and tall, good alignment. Squeezing that downside glute, tilting the pelvis. All right, you want to get as much stretch on this front quad and hip flexor as you can without resorting to leaning. It's not, not the worst thing in the world, but you can probably get a more effective stretch just by tilting the pelvis down. And then we'll anchor this hand across the opposite knee, big reach. Even though shoulders down, don't be shrugging up into your ear.